my eyes closed and I just felt so weak and I just kind of felt like I hit this point where I finally just let go and just surrendered and I was just like this is a rough season and I I am just tired of fighting I'm tired of trying to sort things out and I just want you know, God to just be God and be sovereign over my life and just help me. <laughs> That's just kind of the point I got to is just help me. And um, all of a sudden I went into this um, vision where I was standing in a room and I could hear singing and I saw Jesus and Jesus was singing, but it sounded like Anthony Skinner. And the crazy thing is I wasn't like, I, I felt like I wasn't even in the sanctuary anymore and I couldn't I couldn't hear anybody around me. I couldn't feel or sense the people around me, but I could see Jesus and I'm hearing singing and I'm seeing his mouth move, but it's, you know, sounding like Anthony Skinner. And um, Jesus is walking and getting closer and closer to me. And I started feeling a little bit scared. Like, I don't know if this is okay. I mean, what if he gets, I mean, what's going to happen? Is he going to get really close to me? And just feeling that like, like unworthy or just not knowing how desperately he wants to just love me and be close to me. And um, as he's getting closer and closer, my heart is racing and he finally gets right up to me and he just grabs me and he just hugs me and holds me and I just collapse in his arms, just bawling and bawling. And he's just singing and singing and singing over me. And as he's doing that, I could see the this the music, the song, I could see it coming out of him. It was a tangible a uh, light, a kind of, I don't really know how to describe it except just say light, and it's coming out of him as he's singing, and it's just wrapping around me, and as that's happening, I can just feel these things just breaking off of me. It just felt like, like breakthrough. It just felt like all the things that held me down, all the things that get in the way, all the things that were making me feel insecure were just breaking off, and um, then uh, all of a sudden, I had these two questions in my mind. And I wanted to ask Jesus these two questions, and I felt I felt afraid, and I felt embarrassed, and I felt I just felt afraid to ask these questions. And um, suddenly, I hear in the natural, I hear Anthony say over the microphone, "I want you guys to ask Jesus two questions," and I'm like. Is, is this real? Is this really happening? And I'm, I feel like I'm kind of in this weird place where I'm in this vision, but at the same time, now I'm listening to what's actually happening in the natural, in the sanctuary. And I'm thinking, this cannot be happening. And Anthony says out loud the two questions that I was thinking in my head, word for word. He says, I want you to ask Jesus, what were you thinking when you created me? And how much do you love me? And those were the two questions that were just running through my head the whole time this experience was going on. And I just started bawling and I was trembling. I was just shaking and trembling because I could not believe that this was happening. It was like someone just read my mind and out loud over the microphone just spoke out to the whole sanctuary what I was thinking in my head. It was the weirdest thing. And um, so I, I felt a little bit afraid, but I finally worked up the courage and I asked him, how much do you love me? And I saw him just stretch out his arms, and they just kept stretching and stretching, like that Stretch Armstrong doll. <laughs> I don't know if anyone remembers that, but you know the Stretch Armstrong doll that just like stretches forever? It was just like that, just stretched forever. Couldn't even see where it ended. And he just started laughing, and he said, I love you this much. And they just go on forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. And to me, like, be, even just the way he spoke to me, the way that I saw him being like Stretch Armstrong and he was laughing, like that's just like how I am. Like it's like he spoke to me in a way that was fitting for me. And he answered that question in a way that was fitting for me. And um, I was just crying and laughing and I was just so happy. And in that moment, I was so happy that I thought, I don't want to ask the other question. It just felt like this is good enough for me right now. I'm a little bit nervous about that other one. I'll just, I'll just hold off on that. I'll hold off on that. And then weeks later, um, I'm going to the prayer house every morning at about sunrise. And I'm just kind of going through the routine. Like I'm going, I'm being faithful. I go in the morning, I'm reading my word. I'm, you know, doing all the things that I know to do, just wanting to be close to God, never really having some great experience or some vision. I'm just hoping any moment now something's going to happen. And every day is just kind of the same, just being faithful. And this one morning, I do the same thing I do every morning. I come in, I open my Bible, and I begin to read. 
And all of a sudden, I it just, I don't know how to, um, just like in my mind's eye, I could see Jesus walk into the prayer room. And I, I could feel it. And just, you know, the hairs on the back of your neck stand up. You could just feel this tingle, like, oh my gosh, he just walked in the room. And my, I have my back towards where I could feel him walk in. And I feel him like walking up to me, getting closer. And I'm like, oh, and it's that like holy fear where you're like, oh, what do I do? Do I just get down? Do I, do I hide? Do I, do I just jump and hug him? Do I, you know, all these things are running through my mind. And I feel him walk right up next to me and I'm just trembling. And I, I, I hear him say, I want you to come away with me. And I'm like, right now? And, and he says, come away with me. And he's like, I want you to ask me that question. And I'm like, the question that I wanted to ask you a few weeks ago and I, I, I didn't ask you, he said, please ask me that question. I'm like, no, I'm too scared to ask you that question. He said, please ask me that question. And I felt like he was like begging me, like, please ask me that question. And finally, when I just could not take it anymore, I just kind of fell on the floor and I just was a bawling mess again. And immediately, the moment I hit the floor, I was gone and I was in heaven with Jesus and we're standing there and Jesus standing next to me and I see God the Father and he's standing at a table and Jesus is going watch watch this watch and God the Father is at a table and I see him reach into his heart and he rips out a chunk of his heart and it suddenly was like clay and he puts it on the table and he starts like forming it and all this stuff and um, all of a sudden he shapes me and you gotta remember the question was what were you thinking when you created me? So he's answering that now. So it's me. And he's just looking at it and he's like all happy. He's holding me in his hand. And um, he gets this like a, like a jewelry box kind of, and puts me in the jewelry box. And um, it's like those ones where when you open it and there'd be like the little ballerina that would spin around and there'd be music playing. And it was like that. And he had me on the table and he'd open it and I would start dancing and singing and worshiping him. And he'd be like, yeah. And he'd be like so excited. He'd be like just laughing. And then he'd close it. And then he'd open it again and go, woohoo! And he'd like spin around. And he'd dance. And he'd clap his hands. And then he'd close it. And then he'd do it again. And he just kept doing that. And he, every time he'd open it, he was just like so thrilled and excited and just jumping and dancing. And he'd be like, look, look. And he just, his heart was just like, oh, you know, just so excited. And, um, and then Jesus says, he gets so excited when you worship him. He just loves that. He gets so excited. And I'm just like, and I'm just crying the whole time I'm watching watching this. And um, all of a sudden, he picks me up out of the box and he puts me in the palm of his hand. And I'm just really little in his hand. I just fit in there. And all of a sudden, I transferred from where I was standing with Jesus into God the Father's hand. And I'm sitting there and I'm looking at him. And he's pulling me like closer and closer and closer to him like this. And I'm getting really kind of nervous, like I'm getting really close. And I see his heart and I see something like on his heart and I can't really tell where it is. I'm getting closer and closer trying to look. And there's a, a, a mold from the chunk where he rips out a piece of his heart. As I get up closer, I get pressed into it and I fit perfectly. It's just this perfect mold of, of me where I fit perfectly. And I just felt so safe and so warm. And he said, this is where I made you from, and this is where you belong, and this is where you stay. This is where I keep you. I keep you right here, close to my heart. And he's telling me, this is what I was thinking when I created you. I was thinking about how happy you make me, and how happy I am when you worship me, and I love it when you worship me, and I love the way you worship me, and I I love how you dance, and I love how you're silly. And he said, I even think you're funny. And I started laughing at the thought that he would think I'm funny, which was hysterical. Then I'm just laying there just as he's just pouring this love and affirmation into me. And that was like, that was the moment when I finally believed he really does love me. He really is in love with me. He really is crazy about me. He, he like made me special for him and he's happy with me and he's pleased with me. And like from that point on that, that's when I really started getting my breakthrough and release where like that set me on my journey in in worship and setting the standard of he loves me and this is who I am and this is what I'm made to do and this is this is my destiny just to love him and let him love me and that was like kind of started the whole thing for me.